in this video we shall see main battle tanks of india that are in news and important for upsc 2025 follow this playlist and subscribe to our channel clarity of concept upsc for all videos india has mainly three types of battle tanks t72 t90 bhishma and arjuna mark 1a all three of these were in news in recent months let us study them one by one first one is t72 ajaya tank the t72 is a main battle tank it was made by the soviet union in the 1970s it is known for its simple design and strong performance over time it became one of the most used tanks in the world india started using t72 tanks in 1983 the indian version is called t72 ajaya These tanks were made at the heavy vehicles factory in Avadi, Tamil Nadu. Today, India has more than 2000 T72 tanks. These are the backbone of the Indian Armoured Corps. The T72 has many important features. It weighs around 41 tons. It has a crew of 3: commander, gunner, and driver. It has an auto loader, so it does not need a loader. Its main gun is a 125 mm smooth bore. The tank uses a diesel engine with about 780 horsepower. The top speed is around 60 kilometers per hour. It can travel up to 450 kilometers on one full tank of diesel. In the past few years, India has upgraded these tanks. They now have better night vision and thermal imaging. The fire control system is also improved. These upgrades help the tank work better in modern battles. But the T72 is getting old. It has some problems. It does not have modern protection against anti-tank missiles. It cannot fight against new drones and top attack weapons. Its armor is also weaker compared to newer tanks. To solve these problems, India is making more changes. In March 2025, India signed a deal with Russia. It is worth 248 million dollars. Under this deal, India will get more powerful engines for the T72. These engines have 1000 horsepowers. The current engines have only 780 horsepowers. The new engines will be made in India with Russian help. This supports the Make in India program. India is also planning to sell old T72s to other countries. These tanks will be upgraded in India first then they will be offered to countries in Africa the Middle East and Asia This shows India's new role as a defense exporter In future the T72 will be replaced India is working on a new tank under the Future Ready Combat Vehicle Project FRCV This is known as Project Ranjit It will have advanced features like artificial intelligence and drone systems. The new tank will start coming after 2030. Till then, T72 will remain in use. The T72 is mainly used on the western border near Pakistan. It is part of the Indian Army Strike Corps. These tanks are used for fast attacks during war because these are lighter and can move faster. When we compare tanks T90 Bhishma is better than T72. T90 has more protection and better technology. Arjun tank is even more powerful but is heavier. T72 is lighter and works well in plains and deserts. That is why it is still useful. Next tank we are studying is T90 Bhishma. The T90 Bhishma is India's main battle tank. It was developed from the Russian T90S. India started using it in 2001. The tank is made in India at the heavy vehicles factory in Avadi, Tamil Nadu. The T90 Bhishma has a 125 mm smooth bore gun. It can fire different types of shells and guided missiles. It uses a diesel engine with about 1000 horsepower. The tank can reach up to a speed of 60 km per hour and has a range of 550 km on a full tank of diesel. Compared to the older T72 Ajaya, the T90 Bhishma has better firepower, protection, 
and electronics. It has advanced thermal sites made by Thales of France. The tank uses contact 5 explosive reactive armor for better protection. In May 2024, India received the first batch of upgraded T-90 Bhishma Mark III tanks licensed from Russia and manufactured locally in India in Avadi factory. These tanks have new features like mid-wave thermal imaging sites, laser range finders and automatic target trackers. They also have a digital ballistic computer to improve firing accuracy. To improve mobility in high altitude areas, the Defense Acquisition Council approved the procurement of 1350 horsepower engines for the T-90 tanks in March 2025. This will help the tanks perform better in regions like Ladakh. India is also working on adding active protection systems to the T-90 Bhishma. In February 2025, the Army released a request for information to develop systems that can protect the tank from drones and anti-tank missiles. The Defence Research and Development Organization DRDO, is involved in this project. In October 2024, the Indian Army completed the first overhaul of a T-90 Bhishma tank at the Army Base Workshop in Delhi. This will help extend the service life of the tanks. India plans to overhaul 50 tanks per year at this facility. The T-90 Bhishma is mainly used on the western and northern borders. It is part of India's strike corps and plays a key role in armoured warfare. The tank is designed to operate in diverse terrains from deserts to mountains. The next tank we are studying is Arjuna Mark 1A. The Arjuna Mark 1A is India's indigenous main battle tank. It was developed by the DRDO. The project began in 1974. The goal was to create a modern tank suited for Indian conditions. In 1989, the first prototype of the Arjun tank was released. However, it faced several issues including engine overheating and suboptimal weapon performance. These problems delayed its induction into the army. Full-scale production started in 2004 and the first batch was delivered to the Indian Army. The Arjuna Mark 1A is an improved version of the original Arjun tank. Development of this variant began in 2010. It incorporates 72 new features to enhance firepower, mobility and survivability. These include advanced fire control systems, better night vision and improved armour protection. In September 2021, the Defence Ministry placed an order for 118 Arjuna Mark 1A tanks. The contract was valued at 7,523 crore rupees. The tanks were to be delivered by 2027. However, there have been delays due to issues with engine procurement. The German manufacturer of the engines announced a four-year delay in delivery. As a result, India is considering developing indigenous engines for the Arjuna Mark 1A tanks. The tank is equipped with a 120mm rifled gun. It can fire various types of ammunition, including high explosive and armor piercing rounds. The tank has a crew of four, commander, gunner, loader and driver. It uses a 1500 horsepower engine, giving it a top speed of 70 km per hour. In trials conducted in 2010, the Arjun outperformed the T-90 in terms of firepower and mobility. However, the Arjuna Mark 1A is heavier than both the T-72 and T-90. This makes it less suitable for certain terrains, such as high altitude regions. Its weight also poses challenges for transportation and deployment. To address these issues, India is working on the future main battle tank or FMBT. This next generation tank aims to replace older models, including the Arjuna Mark 1A, starting from 2030. The FMBT will incorporate advanced technologies and be lighter and more versatile. That is all about India's battle tanks. Follow this playlist for all such defense videos relevant for UPSC exam. Subscribe to our channel Clarity of Concept UPSC and visit our website clarityofconcept.com.